Hello, my name is Paweł and this is Smart Remote 3. In its latest release, we added Audio Probe tool, which gives you possibility to sniff and inject data at any stage of audio processing pipeline. Audio Probe is using RTT over J-Link to transmit uncompressed audio between host and the device. The audio stream starts when user presses the dedicated button on the remote. On this event, Android TV activates voice transmission over BLE. From the smart remote, voice is transmitted via BLE to Android TV using the Android TV voice service. Let's now start the audio probe. Okay, audio probe is started. Uh, you can see the console output, so all the commands are available now. But for main functionality, we need to start audio chain window. To do that, uh, we need to press Ctrl A. And now we have audio chain window available. On the left, you can see different stages of the audio pipeline from the microphone through the uh, different uh, preprocessing uh, up to the codec and then uh, Bluetooth send. On the right, you can select the file that can be injected uh, to, the, uh, to the device. Let us now check if uh, the audio is correctly uh, received by the TV that we are connected to. Weather in Trondheim? Currently in Trondheim it's 14 degrees Celsius and sunny. Today it'll be sunny with a forecast high of 15 and a low of 3. Audio was correctly received by the TV. So let us now inject the uh, pre-recorded sample. Let's choose the sample now. We have several samples uh, already created, so let's select one of them. Let us now choose in which stage we will inject the sound. We'll choose the codec. And uh, on the left, in the console, you can see that uh, the correct stage of the pipeline was selected. We will be injecting at the codec stage. Let us now try that on the device. And now audio data is injected to the device from Currently the file. Currently in Tokyo, it's 13 degrees Celsius and clear. The forecast for tonight is 13 and clear. Audio probe can be used to measure impact of the casing on the microphone input. It can also be used to observe the effects of the audio codec. Thank you for watching and see you next time.